I moved to LA and, uh, you know, tried to get an animation, didn't. Mm. Ended up working restaurants, postal centers, all sorts of stuff, and then eventually got into the karaoke. <laughs> where I decided, all right, if nobody's gonna give me a job doing comics mm. or working in animation, then I'm gonna, I, I decided to go the easy route and just learn another language and another culture and go do <laughs> and try to do something in another country. Mm. Looking back, that, that was ridiculous. So, obviously, but hey, sometimes, you know, you're desperate. <laughs> so, like, that, that's. That was my motivation, and um, and then eventually, you know, I entered some contests, and uh, and I got to do uh, eventually MBQ. So I was like, oh, all right. Mm. Um, and I was supposed to have a, an interview in, on PBS Japan. So I was like, oh, shit. oh, damn. And uh, you know, so I was like, oh, I gotta tell everybody that I know it's in Japan. So I bought a phone card. <laughs> and uh and One then you know like paid <laughs> yeah yeah so anyway i'm like all right I, i'm gonna i'm gonna call shuichi because by then by the time i was starting to draw manga like i'd already learned enough japanese to be able to like talk mm. and i you know i'd worked at the karaoke for three years so you know at least conversationally like you know i can kind of do something so i was like you know i got his number and i called him and then he answered and it's also like crazy time difference right so i'm like okay right. what time do i call him is he gonna be back from work mm. so i'm all like you know super tired waiting then mm. i call him and then you know i'm, I'm like uh moshi moshi and he's like hi and i'm like oh right. I'm super like, japanese style huh? <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and i'm like and also i mean i hadn't i hadn't spoken to him since like you know like chicago yeah so that was like at least five years damn or more mm. right so i'm like moshi moshi Mm. And he's like, hi. And I'm like, got him, dude. And then, uh, and then you know, like, I, I, I asked him a couple things. I'm like, I said, like, you know, you used to live in Chicago, correct? Mm. And he was like, just kind of quiet. And, mm. and then, you know, I'm like, uh, mm. and you know, and I'm just like, man, this guy has no clue because why? Like, dude, we never spoke in Japanese mm. before. Like, yeah, I never yeah. told him I spoke Japanese, nothing. And then he's like, Felipe! And I'm like, what? <laughs> dude, like, what? What the fuck? So we're talking and stuff, and he's like, ah, he's just like, Kimi wa mada mada aoyo. Uh, and I'm just like, oh, what the fuck? Dude? I'm like, yeah. you know, so we talked, and I told him, like, hey, yeah, like, I moved to LA, and then, like, you know, I, I started working at a karaoke to learn Japanese, and then, uh, and then eventually I started publishing, and I'm about to put my first book out. And uh, and then like I'm gonna get an interview on PBS Japan, and it's mm -hmm. gonna be like next Thursday at, at eight, you know, at eight p.m. Japanese time. Like you gotta check it out, and all this stuff, and uh, you know, and it was crazy because that's the first time I heard like what I was talking about, like Japan's true, or not oh. Japan, Shuichi's true like his voice, like voice. his, mm -hmm. and that's when I realized like that he his age. Mm. Because like you know, mm. and I realized he was like my senior, like my senpai. Like mm. first of all, you know, he called me Kimi, mm. which is like oh, you know, that's yeah. like uh, already yeah. denotes yeah. you know, mm. like a, a you know, like a senior position. You know, mm. there's like you know, mm. Anata and Kimi and Omae mm. and Timi mm. and Anta and all those mm. things. Yeah, like I didn't yeah. know any of those when I was living with him. I had no idea. Mm. So Kimi then ma made me understand that okay, he's he's definitely older than me, and I knew he was older than me, but I just. You know how it is here. Yeah. If you click with someone, yeah. it yeah. doesn't really. Yeah. It's not like it's not yeah. like in Asian countries, you know. So, it it hit really hard. I was like, whoa. Mm. And then, just the words he used and the way he expressed himself. I'm mm. like, oh, okay. Like, yeah. And I mean, I guess when we lived together, mm. you know, I was 18 or 19, mm. and he's probably like 25, 26. Mm. So. Oh, he was already. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but just, you know, but again, I couldn't tell because he looked young because he's mm -hmm. Asian. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he was like super energetic. I mean, he was down with all my bullshit. Mm -hmm. So, like, I just assumed like he was probably closer to my age or whatever, mm -hmm. you know? And I never asked because mm -hmm. I really don't care. I, I never ask people their age. I just mm -hmm. don't. So, we talked and I told him about, you know, at the time I had a girlfriend mm -hmm. at the karaoke. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and you know, I told her about him about her and everything. And he's like, oh, I'd like to meet her. And all this stuff, we talked for a while. And then he's just like, 
Do you cafe ni penal o mai ni hongo shabrin no? He's just like, he's like what? And I'm like, dude, like, it's like, it's, it's like a two hit hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. You realize that now? <laughs> <laughs> it was weird. It's like it hit him mm. a delayed, mm. a delayed like response, oh, and then mm. and then he was like. Mm. He's like, wow, like he's like, you, oh, and you learned at a karaoke, and then like we went into that, and I just told him, mm -hmm. yeah, like the people I work with, I just explained to them that like I, I wanted to learn Japanese correctly because I wanted it for work, mm -hmm. so I didn't want to learn a lot of bullshit, mm -hmm. like like we taught you in Chicago, like mm -hmm. a lot of nonsense, dude. <laughs> so he laughed. He was like, yeah. So so yeah, that was pretty cool. But I, but it definitely was a shock to hear him with his own voice. It was mm -hmm. like, oh. I got like a different perspective mm. of, uh, yeah. of 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 Shu Chan, and also, I mean, you know, you don't call your senpai Chan, yeah. you know, because that's now a, a form of endearment. Shu Chan, Shu right. <laughs> Chan. So, so you know, that was the other thing. Is like then, it, like in retrospect, I realized like how if it would have been a Japanese scenario, we're both Japanese, mm. the whole. The whole like environment in the apartment would have been different. Oh the way yeah, hundred percent. Call them would have been different. I, I probably wouldn't have been, you know. But the but on the other hand, just thinking about like what Shuichi's like, like he's not doesn't seem to be the person to care about like seniority or, or any of those things. Like he's very, you know, because he offered up that we call him Chun. You know, maybe. I mean, I guess we're also American, yeah. so yeah. it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. But I think he's. He's probably, you know, regardless of his age, I think he's one of those people. I have friends like that in Japan too. They don't really care about that type of stuff. Mm, right. Uh, like wh when it's when it comes to their friends, they just whatever. I mean, obviously, in other situations, you have to care about those things because it is, yeah, the culture, you know. But but personally, they don't. And I think Shuichi probably fell in that category. Mm. And uh, and eventually, when I when I was living in Japan, he uh, he got married, so I got to go. I got to be at his wedding, so I went out to Shizuoka. I oh, met his family. Nice. Oh, okay. I met his 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 wife, and uh, yeah, no, it was great. It was a good time. So, so yo, shout out to Shu Chang. <laughs> no, Shu Chi San. Shu Chi San. Shu Chi Sama. <laughs> <laughs>